All right, welcome back to my channel. Don't know what that was, but today we are going to do, as you saw in the title, it's a one brand tutorial on L'Oreal. And I actually found some favorite product, found some products that I like, not necessarily my favorite. Some products I don't like at all. I even threw one away already. <laughs> um, but, and I'm gonna keep testing out some products that I got today, so. Um, I have done one of these videos before. It's the Wet n Wild and I really liked all of those products. Like I'm pretty sure there wasn't one that I didn't like. So I will leave that one down below. So if you want to see what I did like on there and what I used. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you can see more. And we will go ahead and get on to the video. So I did my brows off cam camera as always, and what I used for my brow, which I probably can go in a lighter shade because it's a little dark, but I went in with the L'Oreal Brow Styler Definer, and this one is in brunette, and it does come with a spoolie at the end, and it's just looks like that. I really do actually like this one. I've had it for a while, and it works really good, and it lasts a long time. It's kind of like the Anastasia one, but a little bit cheaper um so let's put some concealer on my eye i'm gonna go in with i'm gonna keep saying l'oreal but this is the l'oreal infallible concealer and this one's full wear and what this is eggshell and i'm just gonna use this as a primer for my eyes And I'm gonna use my elf sponge. All right, uh, so concealer is down. And for, oops, for my eyeshadow palette, I'm gonna use the L'Oreal Paradise Enchanted and palette and this one it says it's fruit scented so it smells like peach which actually does my sister gave me this one and it's really really pretty so first i'm just going to go on with this white shade and i'm just going to set my lid All right, and I'm gonna use those same eye tapes from ELF. I'm just gonna rip it in half. Will it rip? Oh, it is. All right, so we put the ELF line and define eye tapes, and I got these for two dollars. I'm pretty sure I got them at Ulta. Um, so we're gonna go back in with that palette, and let's go in with this shade right here. This one's number eight, it says on the back. And I'm just gonna cut my brush. And it doesn't come on the mirror, which kind of sucks, but that's okay. All right, and then I'm just gonna go in with that shade next to it. It's just a little bit deeper. And then I'm going to go in with this brush, and we're going to go in with this color right down here. So we're going to take a flat brush, like this one. I'm going to go in with this one right up here. This one right here, number 12. <laughs> uh, okay. 
just came off in like chunks. And I'm gonna put that in the inner corner. Let me lighten that up a little bit. It does give you a lot of fallout, so just be aware. But we'll go back to this. Um, since I have the tape on, I want to try this L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black um, Eyeliner. And it just comes with like a little brush. I'm going to try to do a very, very, very small baby wing. We'll see how it goes. I'm not good at eyeliner, so do not. Okay, that did not work. What was it? This? It's terrible. Terrible. It was like a brown. It was even black. It was just not good. So I started over. I wiped it all off. And I went back in with that concealer. And I um, set it with this shade. And now I'm just going in with that one again. And I'm doing the exact same thing. We're just gonna go for something like simple. I changed my mind. None of that craziness. Um, I am gonna go in with the same shade as last time, the one right next to it. And I'm just gonna focus this on the outside. That looks so much better. And I want to go in with this shade right up here. And I'm just going to use my finger. And I'm just going to apply that to my lid. These shades are really, really pretty. I don't know why, but that last brown was just like too much. And then the eyeliner just looked terrible so I had to take it off. I think it was just like the liner made it. Alright and I'm going to go back in with this shade right here. And just on the outside so that's blended. And the same thing, I'm just taking a little bit. All right, and I just want to take a clean, a clean fluffy brush and I'm just going to go over that. And this one is from BH Cosmetics and it's a one-on-one -on -one brush. It's just like an E40 from Sigma. It's just fluffy. But like half the price. Alright, I'm done with the eyeshadow. Um I have that brown eyeshadow literally everywhere. I don't know how I got way over there, but that's okay. And for mascara, we're gonna use this L'Oreal Paradise. I've heard a really lot of good things about this one. So, and this is in black. It's black. I heard a lot of people say it's like the better than sex mascara from Too Faced. It kind of has like the same 
packaging. So I'm excited to see. Oh yeah, similar. All right, and I'm just gonna coat So, um, mascara is actually really pretty and I really did like um, it, so we're going to keep trying it and we'll use it for the lower lashes too. So for primer, I'm going to go in with this L'Oreal Infallible Glow Lock. This one's in 130, it's just a primer. I've used it a couple times and I really liked it. It was, it gave like a really pretty sheen. It just looks like that, so I'm going to put this. I have like a mess going on here with that brown eyeshadow. It was ridiculous. A lot of fallout. All right, for foundation, we're gonna go in with this one. And this is Lumi True Match Cushion Foundation. And this one is in W2. It's a build buildable luminous, luminous foundation. And it looks like this. And then when you open it, it'll come like that. It normally comes with like a little sponge you can like pat on your face, but I threw mine away. So I'm just going to dip my e.l.f. sponge and I'm just going to go all over. Um, I don't think this is really like a full coverage um, foundation. But it is uh, really pretty for like um, just something like if you're not wanting full coverage, like if you're wanting going to the, I don't know if people wear, well I know people wear like makeup to the gym or like just for work, like nothing crazy, but just something that'll even out your skin tone. I think this would be a really good foundation for like an everyday. Now for concealer, I'm going to go in with that same one as earlier. And I'm just going to do one side at a time because I don't want it to dry. All right, let's add some powder. So for powder, I picked up this L'Oreal Infallible Pro Sweep and Lock. Translucent, right? Yes, and translucent. It just looks like this. I haven't even opened it yet. Of course, it has stupid. All right, so I have the powder and I'm just gonna take this MAC 128 brush. <laughs> Powder's like so finely milled that it's like, it's a mess. Uh, let me wipe all that off. I don't know how I feel about that powder. We'll have to keep trying it, but Ooh. All right, and I also picked up this just to set the rest of my face. I love the foundation to this, so I'm hoping I like this as well.
So L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow. Oh, weird. Like part of it's glittery and the other part's not. And this one is in 22 Creamy Natural. And of course it has a little sponge underneath. Does it have a mirror? Oh, it has a mirror. <laughs> so I'm just gonna take this brush and I'm just gonna swirl it all around. And I'm just gonna pat it into my skin where I didn't put that translucent. I actually really like this powder. Okay, this is really good. Love this. See, we're getting some, we're getting some more, slowly. All right, now let's add some color to my face. So I'm gonna go in with this L'Oreal Blow Rounds. I'm gonna keep saying L'Oreal, like it's just gonna happen. So this is a L'Oreal Get an Instant Sun Kiss Look with an Extra Maxi Bronzing Powder. This one is in 01 Light. It just looks like this. Um, I got this a little while ago, so I'm just going to bronze up my skin. I love L'Oreal's powders so far. They're amazing. And I've actually had this bronzer for quite a while and I already know it's really good. So I don't know if they sell this anymore in the stores, but I know you can definitely still get it um, online, I'm sure. Now let's let's go in with some blush. So for blush, I'm gonna use this one. This is from L'Oreal, <laughs> and it's the 190 Bashful. That's what um, shade it's in. It's Paradise Enchanted Scented Blush, and it looks like this. It's very pretty, and it smells like peaches, like that. Um, the palette I used today. So I'm just gonna put that on the apples of my cheeks and blend it back. I love this blush. I have another one too. There's like, there's three of these, I believe. Um, I only have two of them and they're both um, super pretty. So, all right. So my camera needed a break. So I cleaned up a little bit. And what I did is I put um, mask that same mascara on my bottom lashes. And then I put my lip color on, which I really love these. So this is the L'Oreal, which you already knew. And this is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipstick. And this one's an 844 Sweet Tooth. It's a really pretty, um, like tannish nude. And then I went over with this gloss. It's the Havana Camila Cabello Lip Dew. And I don't know what one this one is in. I have two of them, but this one's the more brown one. All right, so like I said before, I was rudely interrupted. We need to put some highlighter on. Um, so for highlight, what we're gonna use is this from L'Oreal, of course, the True Match Lumi. Um, this is just a, like a, what is it called, a loose, pigment highlight. This one's in 505 Moonlight and it has like a purple, ooh, hello, hint to it. So I'm just gonna put it on. And I'm gonna use my uh, Anastasia 23 brush. <laughs> Holy crap, it's purple. It is really, really pretty though. Alright, let me blend that. 
really quick so I don't look crazy. Uh, L'Oreal does have some uh, facial sprays, but I don't have any. So I'm just going to use the Wet n Wild coconut one that I've been using like crazy. Um, so this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And we're almost at 50 subscribers. I'm really excited. We're slowly getting there. Um, so um, if you have any suggestions on what you would like to see next, just let me know down below in the comments like this video and subscribe so you can see more and i will see you in the next video bye bye